Welcome back to Simplifying Synthesis. In this video, we are going to look at the total synthesis of Attrich Nenons A and B. This work was published in JAX by the George Group, whose work we saw last week in the One Step Synthesis of Peshawar Quinone. Attrich Nenons A and B were first isolated in 2022 by Chen et al. from the rhizomes of Atrictolodes chinensis. In their paper, they propose that this compound is formed from the diels alder reaction of a quinone with alpha philandrine, followed by a series of oxidations and cyclizations. In the work that we'll be seeing today, we will be looking at a synthesis from the George group that proposes that this molecule is instead formed from the reaction of this quinone with beta osamine, a compound that has previously been isolated from Atractylodes. This compound presents several challenges for the synthetic chemist, including a 56655 pentacyclic core containing a bridging and aryl peroxide. This pentacyclic core also contains seven contiguous stereocenters, requiring careful planning of the route in order to install all these centers with the correct configuration. To construct this pentacyclic core, they would use a Diels Alder addition to form one of the ring junctions. The product of this cyclodition could then direct another cyclodition to occur from the bottom face of the molecule, ensuring that the desired stereochemistry is formed. This cyclodition would be part of a cascade, leading to an alpha ketal rearrangement. This would set the stage for a triplet oxygen oxidative cyclization to form the endero peroxide on the top face of the molecule. So let's start the synthesis. The first reaction of the synthesis is a geranylation, where a phenol is first protonated by sodium hydride and the resulting anion then takes part in an electrophilic aromatic substitution with a bromide. The loss of a proton restores the aromaticity in the ring and forms the product at an 82% yield. Taking this compound forward, it was then oxidized with ceric ammonium nitrate to form a quinone, and this then took part in a diels alder reaction with beta osamine This reaction was carried out with a high concentration of lithium perchlorate, which is known to accelerate diels alder reactions. This reaction formed all of the four possible endo products, with the osamine undergoing cycloadditions with both sides of the quinone. These cycloadditions occurred with both the top and bottom faces of the diene. The desired isomer was formed in a 36% yield, and this was taken forward to the next step, which was an intramolecular cycloaddition catalyzed by DABCO. The DABCO serves to promote the formation of the enol tautomer of the quinone and allow it to undergo a cycloaddition. There are two mechanisms proposed for this reaction. The first starts with the 2 plus 2 cycloaddition between the enol and the alkene. This is then followed by a vanilligous alpha ketol rearrangement. In this reaction, the alcohol is deprotonated and this triggers the migration of a carbon carbon bond, expanding the four membered cyclobutane into a five membered ring, together with the formation of an enol that can then tautomerize back to a ketone. The other mechanism is a 3 plus 2 cycloaddition, similar to the one we saw in the George synthesis of Peshawar quinone. In this reaction, the bonds are formed in a concerted manner, and once again an enol is formed that can then tautomerize back to a ketone. The researchers have investigated these mechanisms using DFT, and these studies suggest that the lowest energy pathway is a concerted but asynchronous acid catalyzed 3 plus 2 cycloaddition. With the carbon framework now complete, all that remained to complete the synthesis of atrochinin and B was an oxidative cyclization. This was carried out by first forming an enolate with potassium tertibutoxide and then reacting this enolate in DMSO with oxygen present in the air. This forms an organic peroxide that can then undergo an intramolecular addition to the carbonyl forming the endero peroxide in a 57% yield to complete the synthesis of atrochinin and B. This compound could then be reduced to form atrochinenin A. This was done using triphenylphosphine. This first attacks the peroxide and breaks the oxygen-oxygen bond. The decomposition of the phosphonium-activated hemiacetal then follows, eliminating triphenylphosphine oxide. A proton transfer completes the reaction and produces atrochinenin A in a 95% yield. That brings us to the end of this synthesis. Join me in the next video where we will look at the total synthesis of lucidamone.